Hello folks, Outlaw2044 here, trying on a new game. It's still in alpha stage, it's called Starship Simulator. And it sounds interesting. Uh, I saw a couple of the development logs, and they, they have a free demo that you can do on, on Steam right now, if you download it. Uh, from my understanding, the game itself, the base game, walking around the ship and everything and exploring a bit is going to be free but there will be mission style and story style DLCs that they will sell later as the add-on. Sounds pretty ambitious and sounds very interesting um, so the idea is that you walk around let me let me get rid of this first uh, because if I don't turn off the music I'm sure that I'm going to get dinged for it later but there we go all right, so let's turn off the music. All right, so here's the game. This is the tech, the tech dem uh, demo, and from what I understand, um, what was I going with it? Oh, yeah, that's right. So you can walk around the starship uh, and interact with the crew and, and watch them do their thing every day. Uh, so let's see what it's like. I mean, there's a single-player, multiplayer. What we got here? So any settings we got in here so far. Now, this is an alpha build, so... Pretty crude. Uh, now they has a pa they have a Patreon that you can subscribe to. Uh, I think for like twenty bucks a month you can get the the newest play test that they release. And I'm thinking about signing up for that. Let's see what we got here. Okay, this looks pretty good. Pretty much normal stuff, right? I'm curious what the FPS is going to be. Let's let's show that on there. So. Let's see, Max Shadows, off, off, off. I don't think it's auto-detecting anything here. Uh, I'm not quite sure what temporal upscaling is. I'll probably have to Google that later. So, let's see. Let's save that. All right, let's do single player and see what it's like. Ooh, it's building the starship. It's a little janky there. I've, it's a little. I felt it kind of snag for a moment. Now, if you don't know um, who these developers are, uh, I don't know how many years ago, but some years ago, oh, what was that? Oh, it's a ship. Cool. There was a. There was a game where you could walk through the Enterprise corridors, uh, and I think it was mostly a website. I don't think it was actual release game, but then they got hit with the cease and desist by the Evil Empire um, when they were going to release Bridge Crew, and then suddenly, no more. Oh, that's cool! You can actually change your window tinting. All right. It's a little, it's a little tear. I see a little screen tearing here. Let me go back in here and see if I can change this. Oh, what's the emergency teleport? Customize ship, not there. Customize character, not there yet. Nice. What's this say? Let's see, graphics. I was gonna get rid of my screen tearing here. Uh, to view, show FPS on. I, I don't even see the FPS, so. Let's cap it at like uh, 90. That should be fine. Let's see. That's a wide enough full screen. Vertical sync. Ah, here we go. That's what I want. Alright, so. Alright. Let's see if that. Yeah, that's smoother. Okay, good. So let's. Not too crazy about this head bobbing bit as you're walking around. That's annoying. I don't know what engine this is. It looks kind of like Unreal. Okay, what do we got here? So, can I touch anything on the desk here? I'm sorry, I had to mute it for a second because I was sneezing. Uh, 
All right. Oh, can I click on that? Oh, what? Oh, I. Oh. Oh, I've done it now. I've knocked it through the floor. Okay, let's just go like nothing happened. Um, I don't know what happened to that tablet. I didn't see anything. Interesting paneling choice. I suppose. Since this is still alpha, we're going to have a lot to do here. Cool, the bridge is unfinished. I mean, everything's unfinished. That's so cool. You see the HVAC work up here. This room is unfinished. It's the armory. Oh, that's cool. It's got a little sticky note on there. That's so awesome. Okay. You know, I've been a Star Trek fan all my life. I grew up watching the original series and Spock was my hero and always will be. So being able to walk in a starship has always been one of my biggest things. So apparently um, <clears throat> this map uh, they don't have a view screen like a normal uh, they were, the, about, the dev was saying they don't have a view screen like a normal starships that we see these days. They have this wide open port, you can see everything. But what they use is a 3D holographic interface, this guy. Now eventually what's gonna happen is <clears throat> it's gonna be populated with different stars that you can visit. And I think they're gonna use some procedural generation kind of like uh, like uh, maybe uh, <clears throat> Elite Dangerous or maybe something along the lines of um, no man's sky, but we'll see what happens. Uh, let's take a look here. <clears throat> Navigation target, Magellan. I think that's us, the Magellan class starship. Can I zoom in? I can't zoom in. I can cycle through camera. What's this do? Oh, that's me! I'm a ginger! Okay, well, there we go. So, let's see, torch. No, I don't need a torch. Time. Oh, the HUD. Let's get rid of the HUD. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Customized Starship interior. What's this do? Uh, <clears throat> okay. Let's take a look. Works at map screen. Light. That's kind of cool. Okay. And of course, submit a bug report, right? But we haven't found a bug yet, so. Oh, look, there's my FPS. It's currently around 60, I guess. It's between 60 and something. Okay, so let's. We're on the bridge. Helm station. Can we get up here? Can. I'm standing in the chair. Can I sit on it? Let's see. No? E? F? Oh! F! I sat down. Helm control. Can't control the ship yet. Autopilot engage. That's so cool. <clears throat> okay, I got out of there. What's this control here? This is probably gonna be science, maybe ops. No, weapon station. Defense station. Larry's low shields. I imagine this. Science stations are probably under somewhere. What's these guys? Sensors. Nice. Comms. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. All right. So apparently, uh, I was looking at the the Patreon a little more, and uh, the developer says that if they get like you know seventeen hundred a month, then they could work on it full time. Right now, I think they're a little less than halfway there. So, but they only have like 50 something Patreon. Is that what they're called? I have no idea what people are called that contribute. So, <clears throat> I guess they're the Patreons. Uh, oh, the captain's office. Oh, I don't want to make the captain's cabin go missing. What's the technical specs of the ship? What is that? What is that? And, uh, what? Check report. 
security code. <coughs> Curious. Oh, what is that? Oh, wait a minute. Is that is that slowly rotating? See, I'm gonna put this mouse here, right there. Oh, it's a bit janky. All right, so there we go. Let's see if it moves. <coughs> No, I don't see it doing anything. I don't think it's moving yet. All right, so let's keep moving. What else we got? We looked in there. We looked in the armory. The XO's office. Cool. Okay. XO is reading an ancient book on relativity. I figured by that time they've uh, figured most of that stuff out. Okay. Conference room, which is where we started. Like a mess hall, let's see. You know, when when they finish this and we get to see the stars moving, if the ship is moving, I guess. That's gonna be very, very cool. Ah, your standard safety cones because the lift is out. So don't go running in there. You're gonna die. Can I? Can I die? Oh, oh, oh! I fell in there. Did I hurt myself? No, but I did fall through the deck somewhere. So the elevator is out. Engineering deck. Oh, this is so nice. I can run. I can run. What's in here? Oh, I don't know, but it looks amazing. What is this? <clears throat> the. Well, I guess it's gonna probably the engine room. So the reactor. Nope, can't touch anything. Nope, nothing happens. This is so cool. So much detail has gone to this game already. Now, from my understanding, their release is going to be uh, later on this year or early next year. I've got it on my wish list. Steam. So, uh, there's no other crew yet, so let me go up here. Top of engineering. You like Jordy and stand here and look down for a moment at the crew working. Jump down. Yeah. Nope. Okay. So much detail of where you are on the ship, the starboard side, the port side, forward, aft. Okay, let's get out of engineering. Oh, we we'll go down to the very bottom, I guess.
back at deck F. Okay, so let's go over here. What's down here? Main batteries, port batteries. Oh. Electrical grid. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't know what this is going to be like with the crew and it's... I mean, I think engineering looks pretty well done. I think there's a lot more they're going to do to it, but I think this looks pretty finished here. They're going to populate it with people soon. Oh, this is the map of the deck. Okay. Cool, we're here. Is that, is that actually moving? No. This reactor room, life support. So if we're facing that, life support is there. And the fuel and coolant is there. The other side of storage and engineering. And the port battery. So this is going to be life support here. All right, is that correct? Yeah, if I'm looking at this here. Yeah, life support is in here. So this will be life support eventually. Whoa. And, and I've on somewhere else now. Did I fall through something again? I did. Okay. Oh, I'm on the bottom of the deck now. Alright, so. Uh, apparently, there. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> oh, I better turn on the torch. There we go. So, life support still being built, and that's where I came down from a second ago. Okay. That's so cool. You can see the curve of the ship's hull. That's just amazing the detail in this game so far. <laughs> what do we got here? Can you go up here? Where does this go? Where am I now? Let's see what we got here. Oh, turn off the torch. Look at the wiring going. I wonder if I could trace this all the way back to one of the batteries. Okay, so here's the aft battery array one through six. Or is it one six? Yeah, okay, one, 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 five, one. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So the aft battery connected here. Let's see if we can follow it. So here's this top. This is one six here. I'll follow this. Oh, the cable just dipped. Oh, okay. yeah, what happened there? Okay, so. Alright, one six following it. Oh, I see, okay, so. Still there. Following, following, following. And it goes to this junction box. behind the wall so maybe they're not uh, oh they're not done yet okay so it's still work in progress okay let's get out of engineering for now we're down in the bowels of the ship what's this I have a feeling if I go over there I'm gonna fall out the ship or something no nope, can't go past that oh look it's not done all right stop Is there a map? No, no M for map. Let's go back down. Okay, turn off the torch. Let's see. Now, how do I get out of engineering? That's a question.
reactor room is there, so that means I gotta keep going around until I get back to the door of the reactor. Okay. Which well, should be coming up right about here. There it is. Okay, good. Okay, I thought it was stuck in engineering for a moment. Go back upstairs. There we go. Alright, now I found my way out of here. Back up the stairs. Back at deck F, engineering. Up. Now we're in the habitation deck, lower. He's going to be the crew quarters, and that's where I fell through last time. Okay, so let's go. And floor up. Habitation upper deck, more crew quarters. Are they fleshed out at all? Oh, God, that's so cool. So I wonder when. Oh, let's turn on the torch. So when. I get into this game, the real game. Now, one of the devs had said that um, it's not quite sure. You could just be a crew member on the ship. You, you may be the chief engineer. You may be something. So apparently, it's going to either start random or it may be more like um, where where kind of like uh, you you get to choose what path you want to go on. You become like a junior officer and you get more things to do and stuff like that. That would make sense that you. It's got some RPG aspects to it. Hopefully I don't end up like Harry Kim and never, ever go above Ensign. All right, so let's take a look here. Okay, let's get out of the crew quarters section. There we go, we're back up. Above. All right, so the stairs are on the aft part of the ship. That's, oh, that's, that's something. What's that do? I don't know what that did. Alright, so let's go up. What's above the habitation deck? Oh, sciences. So if I were to serve on this starship, what would I want to do? Would I want to be in command? Nah. I mean, that's fun, but uh, I think I want to be in sciences. Oh, I think we were just here a little while ago. Okay, yeah, this is where I originally fell through. Okay, so this is sciences here on this top deck. Is that a really good ship? So, is there another deck above here? Or is this the top of the starship? No, that's the bridge section up there. The command deck. Okay, okay. So that's it, I think we've explored the entire ship. We've got uh, five decks or so. The command deck, which is way up here. Oh, I thought that was a person for a second. I was like, oh, who's that? All right. This is just stunning of the possibility here. Is that my shadow? It is. That's so cool. All right, window control, polarization. Okay, that's all there is to see right now, folks. Uh, oh, oh, the command chair wasn't here. Condition normal, yellow, red alert, hit <laughs> disco mode. Can I do anything with that? Oh, that's cool. So the left, that was a left click button. Let's turn it off. It won't go off. Go back to normal. There we go. What's alien visits? Mouse control is a bit uh, wonky here. Is there a way to smooth that out of the controls? Make it a little less sensitive, I guess. I suppose I could turn off my DPI and my mouse and turn it down. Target. Whoa, what happened? I 
just did something. All right, let me let me sit here. Navigation targets. Oh, all right. Some of this actually works. Let's use the sensor target. Anything? Uh. Wait a minute. Oh, I've engaged FTL. Oh, sorry, sorry, Captain. I I didn't mean to press that button. I'm sorry. Uh, my bad, my bad. I I was uh just seeing what it did. Right. Oops. Oh, oh. Okay, you can, you can do this. All right. Let's see. Let's look at the planet a little bit. That's cool. All right. Is there? How can you control it? I guess they will eventually map this to the keyboard or something. That would make sense. It's hard, really hard to fly a ship by pressing a button with a mouse. All right. So what's this do? Autopilot engage. Oh, what's the autopilot doing now? Where are we going? Just let me disengage autopilot. Okay. What's it? Field strength faster than light. Oh, what's max? Can't do anything. Max. Oh, all right. So look, this reminds me of uh of the cockpit of um of No Man's Sky. That's what happens if I hit fast. Moving again. Oh, we're now moving. We are actually moving somewhere. We get out of the seat. All right. So, is the ship moving on the map? Are we moving? And this must be the galactic plane. So we're kind of crooked at the moment. I'm gonna pitch us. Uh, so if you right click you you zoom in so no I want to roll right Let's see what we did there. Did I flatten out a little bit? Oh, a little more, okay. Can't tell by that. No, I think we're just stuck there. Okay. There's nothing in weapons control yet. Sensors, so. Oh, that is. Oh, okay. Hang on a second here. Scan target. You know, select a target. Alpha Centauri. 4.36 light years away from Earth. Alpha Centauri is actually the closest star to us. It's four light years away. But can we scan it? No. Send to helm. Nothing happened. Okay, so what's this do? Thirty light years distance. Fifty light years distance. Ah, okay, okay. Anything within that range? I got it. I got it. Okay. Planetary systems. Warp three sixty five. That actually is a real deal. Oh, now that we're actually floating and the helm is up. Okay, so we've got Alpha Centauri sensor target. That is so cool. We're now moving through space and are we going to Alpha Centauri? Uh, I mean, let's stop in for lunch, huh? That sounds good. So. Centauri. I remember an old show called Babylon 5. What? Those guys from Alpha Centauri with the crazy hairdos? Or are they called the Centauri? I don't know if they were from Alpha Centauri, but. Uh, Ray Shields. Oh, it closes off the windscreen. Nice. So, I guess. 
lower shield because we want to see the stars. That's cool. I mean, that is a physical, I guess, titanium shield. Oh, that's awesome. Well, okay, so we've seen all the ship at this point. And now we're traveling through a Magellan, like a cloud. That's so awesome. Well, we're moving faster than light right now, but I don't think we're at warp speed. Let's see. Is there a warp speed? Uh, well, we told it to do a percentage of faster than light. We're at 100 faster than light right now. Oh, okay. Alright, so there's our re reactor core, our power. And you can zoom in here. So there's our galactic coordinates right now. Target distance. So, navigation target, which tells me that I think Alpha Centauri must have a target. So right now, we're, our target's 25,000 light years away. That's going to take a, a little while. All right, so let's let's find a new target. So let's go over here and see if we can find out the target for Alpha Centauri. The light coordinates, there they are. Okay, so Alpha Centauri. I'm not going to try and remember that. I'm going to write that down. Okay, so... What's Alpha Centauri? Target coordinates. No, we don't want to see it now. We're going to go less than 10 light years. Stellar region mode 4 now. Oh, I think we we passed it up already. I think we should probably stop the ship and uh, get out of here. All right, there we go. Okay. Yeah, okay, so let's do this. Let's go back over here. Let's go find a place to go to. Uh, yeah, sorry, Captain. I have no idea where we are right now. I am the worst helmsman ever. So, here we are. These are seven targets for the sensor range. How about 20 light years away? 30? Alright. You know, the funny thing about flying around in space is uh, if you don't know where you're going, you're not quite sure where you're going to end up because the stars all shift around. So, good thing the computer tracks it. Otherwise, you have no idea how to get back to where you want to get. So, galactic position. No targets in range. Okay, so that's not what I want. There's probably going to be shortcuts eventually built in and not this difficult to use interface by zooming in. There we are. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, let's find the nearest place 30 light years away. Huh, so. Is that a scroll bar? It is a scroll bar. Can I, is there any way to scroll? There is no way to scroll here. You have to zoom in and use the mouse, which is terrible to use. Ah, okay, there we go. Alpha Centauri. So I'm going to write this down. My mouse will cooperate here. All right, so let's see. We got uh, negative 258, 48, 49, and... 46. Well, I guess I'll have to learn galactic coordinates eventually. So it's 22 light years away. So let's go back over here. Sit down in this chair. Let's sit down in the helm again. I don't know, messed all this up. Okay, so can I have a clear target? That's what we want, right? Alright, our target is Negative, I can't use the buttons, huh? All right, well, that's annoying, all right, so. Negative. Two, five, eight, four, eight. Can I? No, 
I can't. Two, five, eight, four, eight. I don't, I don't even see where I'm entering that in. I don't think I can. Can I not enter them in yet? No, I guess not. I don't know. It's negative two, five, eight, four, eight. Negative two, five. This is really hard to do. I see nothing changing here. Okay, so we cannot actually enter a coordinate that I can see. All right, all right, so. Okay, so that's these guys. Let's do this. Let's see if I can uh, get out of here. So that's the HUD, right? So I am gonna get out of this game here. What's the emergency teleport do? Puts me back in a starting position, basically. I guess if I get stuck somewhere or fall or something or get lost. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, okay, all right. So, uh, ah, it tells us exactly where we are. We're first person mode, B deck, administration and state rooms. Ah, interesting, okay. Okay, well, there it is. Starship Simulator, the alpha tech demo so far. And I think these guys definitely have something here that is going to be gorgeous when it's done. Uh, I'm going to go and explore and see what else there is to do on their Patreon page and invite you to do the same thing. Uh, because if you love Star Trek, you're going to like this. So. Okay, thank you very much for watching. This is Outlaw 2044.